make sure it's all lined up and This is a review for this Le Tim's 18 Chef's Knife. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to show you the other knives that I've been using for years, uh, but compared to this, they are absolutely nothing. I thought they were really good. So the first thing to know about this is it's made of Japanese VG10 stainless steel. The other thing that's good about it, or that I like about it, is it's Damascus steel. Now basically, if you ever watch Forged in Fire, you'll know that the Damascus steel process is about having layers of steel that's forged together. And it gives you uh, a pattern across it, which is basically the, the layers of steel. It's also got a wooden handle that's riveted on. There we go. So I'm never going to put this in the dishwasher, that's for certain. Uh, but you do have to be careful when you're washing it because it's so sharp. And I'm going to show you how sharp it is in a moment. Right, okay. I'm, I'm just about to make um, a chilli with baked beans instead of kidney beans because I don't like kidney beans. So I'm going to be doing some onions and I'll do some other bits and pieces just so that you can see how sharp this actually is. But it's well weighted. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic knife. I'll show you the other ones actually. So this is a set of knives that I've been using for about 20 years and the balanced ones and they are well balanced and it's a, a solid construction so you've got the tang that comes all the way through there. Um, I've just never, never really had them sharp enough compared to this. I mean they really are night and day and this is actually a lot lighter than that as well even though it's a bigger knife. Right let's see it, let's see how sharp it is. Right so you can see the pattern on it. Yeah, and that's a Damascus steel pattern, as I said, that comes from the actual forging of the knife. All right, so we'll just show, you see the hair on the back of the hand there? If I go like that, that's how sharp it is. You can see it all there. Just pull it over to one side. And that's what it's just taken off. So a very, very, very sharp knife. Right, let's see it cutting some vegetables. Right, so let's get the onions done first. And it just absolutely, honestly, you, you hardly need to apply any pressure whatsoever. It just goes through. Just like that. And then you just run it and you can just drop the knife on and it cuts through without any pressure whatsoever. As I said, the knives that I've, I've been using for years are very, very sharp. You really do need to watch yourself. But the knives that I've been using for years, they're, they're sharp, but just in comparison, it's, it's absolutely like night and day. It just slices. And the last one done. So we'll get the onions done. Right, so I've got some baby tomatoes here. I just want to show you this. We'll put the knife around on its edge like that. And if we get the baby tomato, and I'm only, uh, I'm only about a foot and a half above it, and then just make sure it's all lined up, and whoop, so sharp. I'm not very good at dropping this. And there's just no way that I could do that at all with the other other knives. You see how thin they are? Perfect. So in summary, what do I think of it? Well, it's a well-balanced knife. It's a little bit difficult because it's on the slope there. But well-balanced, ergonomic, very easy to hold, extremely sharp. I was actually so impressed with it that within a week of buying it, I'd purchased a second one as a gift for somebody. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to get quite a few years out of this. I'm looking forward to using it now. Actually, if you are buying it as a gift, you do get uh, a presentation case that it comes in. And the knife just sits in there. So, yeah, de definitely good as a gift. 